seven. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm going to show you one more topic today. And um, as we have discussed, uh, we are seeing how to create unity array structure. Okay, in our last video. Today we are going to see another data type that is the date and time. Data and time is used for like uh, some time based or date related applications. Okay, that means on some particular date or at some particular time, you want to start the process and stop. Okay, for such application, you can use date and time. Okay, <clears throat> date and time, date and time, date and time. Sorry. Now, for that, uh, first of all, what we have to do is we have to check the PLC time. So, uh, that you can check through this. From uh, Sematic Manager, PLC, Diagnostic Settings, you can check this in the set time of the option. Here you can see it is showing you the PG and PC date and time and module date and time. So this both should be matching. If they are different, you select take from PG or PC and click on apply. So both will be same. Okay. <clears throat> Close. Now after this, here we create one DB, I'm creating one shared DB data block for storing date time of your PLC. So okay. I'm giving the name symbolic name as date and time, date underscore time. Means what we do is uh, <clears throat> there is a SFC system function. From that, using that block, we can read the date and time from your CPU and we have to store this in this DB. So for storing, it takes memory, right? So it takes some others. So for that, we have to define some parameter here, okay? I'm taking date time one and change the data type to date and time. You can see right click below the structure, set complex types, then you select date and time. So delete this one and delete this one. This enter, it will automatically take the date and time format. You can see DT means date time hash 90 dash 1 dash 1. This is your year, month, and date. Similarly, it is having hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds format. Okay, so both are combined. Date and time both are combined. It is taking how many? 8 bytes, 0 to 7. Eight bytes are consumed by this date and time format itself. So what we have to do is we have to take out this date, time, and day. Okay, out of this format. So I just save this block. First we have to store right in this DB. So I minimize and then open OB one. In the new network, I go to the libraries in the instruction block, standard library. Here you can see we are having system function blocks. So expand this. Here you can see we are having different SFC and SFB blocks, we define blocks already. Out of this, select SFC1, which is your read clock. Okay, clock function, read clock means it reads the clock time of your PLC. Okay, so drag and drop this here. Now, <clears throat> so return value. So here, we have to do some uh, 
memory where I can store return value some error. If it is unable to read the uh, date and time, it will show some error. Okay. Or within that error, we need to do some memory here. I'm doing some like MWID. Then CDT clock date time. So what address that is you? Date and time what we have created. So don't select OB1 underscore date time. Select what we have created date time. Expand this. So select this date and time format of uh, address for your DB. See, it is showing the pointer address here. P hash db2 dot db that's zero dot zero. Okay, now. So your data is stored in this db2 address. Then in next uh, network, we need to separate this date time formats. For reading this, we have to go to IEC function blocks to expand this. IEC function blocks, we can see we are having some block names FC number six. 7 and 8. And that is date, time, date, date, time, date, date, time, period, time of date. So select this drag and drop here. I take one more in the next network. And period in the next network. So here FC 6. That is your date format. Okay, for reading the date from the memory. Okay, so we have to give that same DB address, pointer address. So, D, date time. And read that date from this memory and store this in some another memory at M, D, so M, W, 90, I will take here. We need one word address for this. <coughs> And for day, for day also we have to read from the same date and time format, some plain, same memory. <clears throat> so this is another word memory. And for your time, select from the same address, db. And store it in md memory, so md is 19600. Okay, so here your data will be collected from uh, that format and stored in these different memories. Now I save this block. Then we need to download these blocks here. So I should just download all the blocks once again. I select the blocks and download all. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now, in OB1, when we go to monitor here, you can see the result. Right click, represent. Okay. So it is not showing the format here. So, for better watching the result, you go to variable table. So, you go to semantic manager. Create a variable table here. Open the variable table and enter MW90, MW92, and MD96. So the date and time format, right? MW90. So select the date as a format, display format for 92 to say decimal number. <coughs> And what time it is? Time of day. Okay. So, when you monitor, you can see the date. It's showing today's date here, 18-01-2023. And day, it is showing as a number. Okay. So, here, we have to identify the day. Means, if it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, with a number. That is so important. So your week, one week, right? One week is having seven days, right? So it is starting from Sunday always. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
that is 4. Means today is Wednesday, so it is showing number 4. Okay, so Sunday means 1, Monday means 2, Tuesday is 3, Wednesday 4, Thursday 5, Friday 6, and Saturday 7. So like this, you have to identify the day here using this number. And you can see it is showing the time. Present time it is 12, 28. Okay, 12 hours, 28 minutes, these are in seconds. Okay, so this is how we can separate the date, time, and day using this time of day option. Now, suppose if I have some application, I want to start some uh, logic at some particular time. Means so it was showing 12.28. I want to start some application at 12.30. Okay, so I can compare with the time for this application. I can use one comparator which is your double integer, okay? So I take uh, greater than or, so I take both, greater than or less than equal to here, and take one output, two, zero, four, seven, something. So I'm, D ninety six here and MD ninety six here also. I take MD one hundred and MD hundred and so between some time I want to compare. Okay, some of this should be on and then it should go off. I want to download this block logic. The time is running here. So what I do from here, variable table. So MD under and MD one zero. Okay. So both are time of day. Let it select this time. Copy. Okay. Um, I just go to monitor. The present time I will select, copy, and paste here, and paste it here. I want to start some application after 12, 30, 2. Now I will move all zeros here. And also, I want to stop this at 12, 30, 3. I can make it zero zero. Okay, so here right now is thirty one. Okay, so I update here. You can see the output status is off here. So when it becomes thirty two, this will go on. Right, this condition goes on. And it makes the output off. So these are at some particular time, like only for one minute at this uh, 12 32 only, it should start. And by 12 33, it should stop. Okay, that is your time based application. Okay, and if you want to compare with the day, so I can use one more comparator if equal to four. If your day is equal to four. Means today, Wednesday, only at this time, the output should be on. Okay, so you can use that comparator. Now you can see that result here. See, output is on. It will remain on till 33. And this is on. This is very much useful for some time-based applications, day, time, on some particular day like Saturday, Sunday, okay? <clears throat> and every Sunday should be off between this duration. 
can use as time. You can use or you can compare here and you can make the autos on or off. <clears throat> See, it is on. Okay. Now, suppose if I want to start it today, okay. Mm, so I can use one more comparator equal to what is that? Days MW ninety two MW ninety two. So this is with the day, okay? On Wednesday <coughs> means I have to set as number four. Now if I want to do it tomorrow, I have to set the number as five. Means Thursday, which is number five. So tomorrow it will start at that particular time what we are setting here. In this, in this MD hundred and MD one zero four. Or no, I don't want to compare with the day. I want to compare with the date. Okay, so in this case, in such case, you can use this date format here. Okay, and we have to set in the similar format d hash. First, we have to do the year, then the month, and then the day. Okay, that date, day. Okay, <clears throat> that number we have to mention the last. Okay, this is a format we have to set here. So, this is about the date and time application. Hope you like you will like this uh, topic also. Thank you very much.